Hi, it's Dave from Rainforest Exotics with another one of my snakes today. This is a mangrove snake. This is probably the most recognisable species of boiga. Um, this one is called boiga dendrophilia melanota. It's also one of the largest, if not the largest species. Um, they can get to se uh, seven to eight feet. This one is a decent sized female. Um, the thing with these guys is you get a lot of wild caught animals coming into the trade and I think most people don't necessarily know how to establish um, wild caught animals properly so if anybody needs any advice with that feel free to drop me a message. My biggest piece of advice would be to concentrate on hydration when you first get the animal rather than trying to feed it straight away. Make sure that you're bathing it, um, get it nice and hydrated, um, then get it feeding and then worry about parasite burden after that. People seem to try and rush through it and I think sometimes they get an animal going for a little while but it doesn't necessarily last. The more of us that can breed these the better to try and get away from that wild caught, um, wild caught need. Um, I breed these successfully pretty much all the time. Um, you can see it is quite a big animal. Feeds like a dream on pretty much anything I offer. Um, they tend to be a little bit shy when it comes to feeding and don't necessarily want you watching them. Um, you can see today it's pretty active. Um, that's just purely because obviously I've got it out and interfering with it. Um, at night time these guys are a little bit more rambunctious, so I tend to leave them be at night time. Um, so it is a nice heavy bodied colubrid, so when you're setting up your tank you need to bear that in mind uh, with a nice climbing frame for these guys to use, not flimsy little twigs. Um, also good humidity is essential. Um, you'll see that with good humidity they're a lot, lot more active um, than they are without, okay? But you can still afford to give them a nice warm basking spot of about 31 to 33 degrees. Um, they do really well like that. Um, rear fang venomous obviously, hence the hook. Um, there's no real reason to be bitten by one of these. They're really clumsy strikers and normally really easy to avoid, but it's still best to be careful anyway. Um, uh, a good bite off one of these regardless of venom would hurt and wouldn't be a great deal of fun, okay? Um, that is pretty much all I've got to say about a mangrove snake today, I think. Um, I'm going to do more in-depth videos on the species as we go along and I'm going to start doing shop stock and, and how to care for those and things like that. Um, in the meantime, hope you enjoyed this video and I will do another one soon. Thank you very much.